Hello, Serge here from the back porch. Just returned from the PGA Championship, and and on day one, the biggest the biggest news was was not so much uh, Tiger Woods shooting that high score, but but really Rory McIlroy and the fact that that of his uh, shot where he, his club hit the root, and 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 he got some injury in his hand, and we saw that that if if you were anywhere on the TV uh, watching the Golf Channel or even the news, you you saw that they ended up bandaging him up, and and he played the rest of the round uh, bandaged up, and 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 then if you watched. The Golf Channel after the uh, after the tournament was over, the big news was that that uh, they were taking him for uh, an X-ray or MRI or whatever to see what see how the tendons and ligaments were in his arm and and whether he could play. And in fact, the next morning and 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 DJ was teeing off in the morning, he was not on the range and I don't think I ever even saw him on the range. And they say he didn't really show up uh, till about 20 of them. We finally came back and we were the last tee time and I think he was about four groups in front of us. I saw him walking across the putting green. And, and uh, they said he didn't show up till more than 20 or 25 minutes before his tee time. And uh, he did play and, and, I, I, and, I, and played pretty good, made the cut. But I want to talk about that shot. Now, we know that uh, after, uh, in, the, in the evening on that first day, Frank Noblo actually went out to that spot and was at the root. You could, he, the camera came in close. You could see where the, where the club, when, he, when the club hit the root, it chipped off some of the, some of the, uh, the covering on it. And, and uh, that... Uh, Frank talked about it, and, and there was some F references made to, to his caddy should have not let him do it. Well, remember, in the end, even many caddies who have, who have the ability and the, and the, and the permission from their, their, their player to speak up and, and, and say what they think, uh, in the end, the, cat, the, the player makes a decision, not the caddy. And when I was out there on the third hole yesterday, I happened to be on, I happened to be on that side, and, and, and one of the players in DJ's group hit the ball. In fact, it was DJ. He hit it right in the, uh, just in the first cut over there, uh, about 10 feet. And I just said to some, uh, we were standing, and somebody was talking about Rory's shot, and the guy said, yeah, the root was right over there. I was standing like five feet from it, so I walked back over there, and it was just inside the rope. And, and I looked at it, and you could see it all. And that, that root was about... An inch and a half at least above the ground for about that long that longer uh, uh, of it outside of the ground and and his was his ball was right in the middle and I guess it was probably no more than an inch or two away from it and this guy that was sitting there there was a guy sitting there, he said I was right here yesterday when he when he hit it when he when he came here and had that shot and he said the first thing his caddy said was when he got there chip it out and he said the last thing the caddy said before he hit it was chip it out and the guy said, I heard it plain as day. And, and there was a lot of speculation that his caddy didn't speak up or whatever. Well, he spoke up. Rory made the decision. And, and there was all kinds of talk about, uh, you know, was it a smart decision or not? Was it reckless decision? Uh, stupid decision, maybe? And, and, and uh, I certainly don't want to call it stupid. I mean, he's a player, and, and, and he's a good player, a world-class player. They're talking that, that he keeps up the way he's going. He's in the Hall of Fame. But I think it was... I, I think it was a very dangerous decision. I mean, they, they talked about him coming in and kind of, as he threw it, he let the club, he kind of let the club go and threw the club into it. I think that 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 was a, that was the dangerous shot because because that that actually means the club slides under the ball more, but slides into is actually thrown into the into the uh, the root, and that and and if the club if the hand was still on the club. Obviously, that's why he got he got a pretty good shot there. I think the other dangerous thing about it is when he let go of it and the club went flying. Golly Molly, what about all those people standing right there? I mean, how bad would that have been if that club would have been released a little bit that way and into the crowd and somebody getting bonked? Or how about if the club hits the thing and breaks and snaps back up and gets him or his caddy? And so there was a lot of things there you had to think about. And 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 I think one of the things was is that ultimately. You don't want to fool with your body, especially the part that holds the club. I mean, you rip your fingers up, you rip your wrist up, your, your forearms all the way up to your shoulder or whatever. I mean, those can be career-ending injuries or at the least pretty long time vacation off while you, you rehab and reheal. And so I think that's the most important thing, and especially in, the, in the, the first round of the tournament, and he's got a pretty good score going. And I mean, let's fix it, man. These guys got good short games. They're good putters. Chip it out, knock it on the green, make the putter. At the worst, you get away with a with a bogey. And 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 that ball could have hit the root and gone backwards. It could have hit the root and jumped up and hit him. Then he's got a penalty stroke. Never mind possibly getting hurt. It could have jumped up and 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 hit a tree and went behind another tree over there and end up making whatever. Who knows? The safe play 
the smart play, I really think, was, was, was to just chip it out into the fairway. And it was no problem. He could have stand there. There was enough room to, to face this way and chip it right back out to the fairway. And hell, he could have, he could have, heck, he could have putted it out to the fairway probably if he wanted uh, and hit it hard enough. But, but again, sometimes uh, we start thinking we're immortal maybe and we think we can pull off pretty close to the impossible. And what's one of the things that you've heard me say a lot of times? I mean, golf is, golf is like gambling in a sense. What's my, you just say to yourself, what's my odds of pulling this shot off? And if the odds aren't very good in your favor, then you what? You back off and you play safe. Play conservative. Stay positive and play conservative. Play smart. In some cases, playing, playing for maybe a par if I can get it on a one putt, but at the worst, I make bogey. Bogey's a lot better than double or triple, and, would, and possibly, especially, hurting yourself or somebody else. So I think, I think Rory, in that next situation in the future, will probably think twice about it. Probably won't think twice. He'll probably just take it and chip it out. But uh, I guess sometimes we all, have to, we all have to learn the hard way and take our lumps, and, and it looks like he's okay, so that's great because he's a great player and we'd hate to lose him. And uh, so for all of us, we're uh, the mere mortals, I guess we could say, Let's play smart, let's play safe, let's play conservative, and that's one of the best ways to shoot those lowest scores because making bogeys are a lot better than making doubles and triples and whatever, okay? So, talking about Rory and the root, let's just, let's just play smart, play safe, and shoot those lowest scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.